Hello, this is Elliot from ETJ English, and welcome to today's lesson. Now, a lot of you may know from my Twitter, from my Facebook, maybe some of you are my students. You might know that I teach IELTS, as well as my conversation and business English lessons. IELTS is another thing which I'm able to teach in my lessons. So I'm starting a little series on YouTube. It's going to be a combination of live lessons and lessons like this with a few cuts in it. And I'm basically going to be explaining what you need to know for the IELTS exam. Now, please know that you can't expect to pass your IELTS exam just by watching these YouTube videos. Really, if you're taking an IELTS exam, it's important that you have some kind of mentor, some kind of teacher. And this is what my Skype lessons are for. This is where I teach you everything you need to know about the IELTS exam. Anyway, I'm going to start today by talking about the speaking topic, the speaking part of the IELTS exam. The speaking section of the exam comes in different parts. I'm talking about the first part today. And this is when you have about a four to five minute interview with the examiner. And in this interview, you'll be expected to talk about three different topics. I'm going to cover some of these topics in my videos to come. And today I'm talking about one of these topics and I'm going to give you some advice and an example. So today we're talking about hometown, your hometown, where you're from, and all of the things that you need to mention if you're asked this in the exam. Now, I'm gonna give you an example first. I'm gonna talk about my hometown. Please pay attention to everything I talk about and afterwards I'm going to cover it all in detail for you and explain what you need to say in the exam if this comes up. So first of all, my hometown is called Bristol. It's in the southwest of England and I like my hometown. It's a great place to live and I've grown up there since I was a baby and I've always enjoyed living here. Of course, it's nice to get away and go on a holiday sometimes, but still this place is always close to me. And um, I would say that if I did move ever, then I would always come back to visit my hometown. Bristol is a, it's quite a busy city. It's, it's not really busy. It's not like London and there's not a lot of high buildings. We do have some high buildings, but there's not a lot. And, you know, there's a lot of things to do. There's uh, a lot of attractions. And my city, Bristol, has a lot of history. There's a lot of things that you can learn here if you were a tourist. As well as things to do, there's also a very big student community in Bristol. And this is why my city has been growing a lot recently. Because a lot of students have been moving to Bristol to study and to do all kinds of uh, new projects. It's a great place for people to start up businesses. In Bristol, it's actually, believe it or not, it's been rated, I think about three years ago, maybe four years ago, it was rated one of the best places to live in the UK. The reason I think it was rated this was because it's not as busy as London, but it still has everything you need in a small space. I have always lived just on the outskirts of Bristol. I lived kind of in the countryside, just outside of the main city. Now, this was good for me because I was able to commute to work and not have to live in such a busy area. I could live in the outside because I like a lot of open space. There's a lot of good public transport so it was convenient for me. Although I drove, I drove a car, it was still good for me to be able to have that possibility where if my car broke down, I'd easily be able to get a bus. Although sometimes they can be unreliable, there was always the option to get on a bus if I needed to. I think that Bristol is a great place to bring up children. And this is exactly where I want to bring up my children. I'd like them to experience what I've experienced and the enjoyment I've had growing up in Bristol. I think it's got everything that children need, good schools, good education, and there's a lot to do. 
and there's always things to do with friends and there's always a lot to learn. And also you have, like I said before, the good opportunity for universities. There's a, it's, it's home to one of the best universities in the UK, where a lot of studies that are being done there by students are actually changing the whole country, if not the world. So I think it is a growing city and it's a great place to live right now. So there you can see I managed to speak for quite a long time there about Bristol, my hometown. And this is what you need to be able to do. You need to be able to talk as, as much as you can about this, whatever topic it is. In this case, it was about your hometown. You need to prepare it in your head exactly how you want it to sound and you need it to sound fluent. So first of all, I'm going to run through the questions so that you know what you need to say. So first of all, of course, you need to say where your hometown is. I told you my hometown is Bristol. It's in the southwest of England. So that's a definite one that you need to say when you talk about it. You need to say where it is in your country and what the name of it is. Do you like it? Now, there's a lot better ways to say that you like your hometown or you like anything. You don't just have to say, I like it. You could say something like, it's a great place to live. I love my city, for example. There's loads of different ways. You need to build your vocabulary for these speaking activities. You can talk about how often you visit. Let's say you don't actually live in your hometown anymore. You can talk about how often you visit. Do you visit once a month? Do you visit twice a month? Do you not visit at all? Or do you not visit very often? Meaning, do you not visit very much? What's your hometown like? Tell people what it looks like. What goes on there? What happens? What does it have to offer? I said that Bristol has a great university. I said that it's a great place to bring up children. I said that it has a lot of history and a lot of culture. So this is something you need to think about with your city. Does it have great restaurants? All these kind of things build your vocabulary and be able to talk about these things in an advanced way. You could say, for example, where the oldest place is in your hometown. You could say about a famous landmark that might be in your hometown. For example, in London, they have Big Ben. That would be one of the famous landmarks that a lot of tourists would visit. And don't forget to say what it's like for tourists. Is it a popular place for tourists to visit? Is it somewhere where there's a lot of things to do for tourists? Tell the examiner what there is to do for tourists in your city. Imagine you're trying to sell your city to the examiner. So you can talk about what a foreigner, what a tourist could do in your city. You can also talk about how your hometown could be improved. For example, you could say, my hometown is very poor. There's not much money in my city. So we need to improve our economy and make it better for tourists, better for universities, a better education, better places for education. There's all kinds of different ways that you could explain how it needs to be improved. Has it changed much since you were a child? Maybe when you visit now, is it different to how it was when you were growing up? You could say, my hometown has changed a great deal, meaning it's changed a lot since you were young. You could say that there's new buildings, new architecture. It's becoming very modern. It's modernizing, as we would say. Is there good public transportation? This is an easy one. You could just say that, um, you can just talk about the public transport that's available. Mention, you know, how good the bus system is. Is there a bus system? Are the buses on time? Meaning, do they arrive at the right time or are they always delayed? Are they always late? And I think also you need to mention whether it's good to bring up children, whether it was good for you growing up. And generally, I think talking about the hometown is quite an easy one out of all of the topics that come in the speaking exam because it's something you've experienced all of your life and you just need to have the right phrases. It's quite simple vocabulary, but you can add advanced words in there that make you sound better. For example, you can talk about um, if something is good, tell them it's great, tell them it's brilliant, tell them it's perfect. Don't just say good. 
Avoid words like nice. You can say a lot of different things. You could say beautiful. My city is beautiful. So a lot of it comes down to vocabulary, but it's not just vocabulary. As well as knowing what to talk about, you also need to be able to pronounce it correctly. Now this I can't really teach you in a video. You'll need to be in a lesson to learn the pronunciation of words and to have it from a native. But I hope you got a good kind of example. This was almost a listening practice and me kind of explaining what I was talking about. Now in, in my lessons, I actually give you what you need to say. I create everything that you need to say with you and we make it perfect for the examiner. So remember, if you're interested in booking a lesson and passing your IELTS exam easily, don't forget to book a lesson with me in the link below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and I hope it's made you feel a bit more comfortable about your IELTS exam. Don't forget you can get my free phrase books. It's two books, one book of idioms and one English phrase book. They're available in the comment in the description box below for you to download also. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be doing a live lesson tomorrow, so I will see you tomorrow in the live lesson.